These are the most powerful fighter jets on the planet. They are fast, stealthy and gentle, but they are super rare and some cost as much as $412 billion to develop and build. So, which are the most advanced fighters in the sky? And what will the jets of the future be capable of? Let's find out. Welcome to Explained. Fighter jets are the most feared machines in any air force and they've evolved significantly over time. Generation 1 fighter jets had basic propulsion, machine guns, and unguided rockets, and literally no self-protection measures. Generation 2 had swept wings, range-only radar, and infrared missiles. Then came Generation 3, which featured supersonic speed, pulse radar, and could shoot at targets beyond visual range. Generation 4 and 4.5 are the most commonly used today and they have good maneuverability, look down, shoot down missiles, and reduced signatures. But these jets were designed in the 1970s, which means that they're almost outdated. This also means that the FA-16s that Tom Cruise flew in Top Gun Maverick will soon be replaced. Generation 5, on the other hand, are the most advanced. So, what makes a fifth generation better than a fourth generation jet? The answer is stealth. It's because we've made advances with material science, technology, and computers. So everything now is about speed, agility, better situational awareness for the crews, better weaponry, and above all, stealth technology that's been included on these aircraft now, so that they're increasingly more difficult to see by conventional radar. Designing and developing Generation 5 jets is so expensive that only four models are in operation, and only three countries manage to build them. Let's take a look at the four Generation 5 aircraft in existence. Starting with number four, Russia's Su-57 Felon. The Sukhoi Su-57 is Russia's first stealth aircraft. It's covered with a radio-absorbing coating and made from materials that give it a low infrared signature and low radar visibility. This fighter jet can cruise continuously at supersonic speed, which is Mach 1.7. But what sets it apart is its low-speed maneuverability. When it comes to attacking, its advanced infrared search and track feature can bypass enemy jammers. In a dogfight, it could shoot down enemies with close combat 30mm air guns or fire its four K-77M air-to-air missiles and even air-to-ground missiles in more intense battles. If the Su-57 comes under attack, its powerful onboard computer can act as an electronic secondary pilot. And even cooler, it can blind heat-seeking bogies with a modulated laser beam. These fighters are advanced, but they've had issues like engine fires in the past. At number three is China's J-20, AKA the Mighty Dragon. The Chengdu J-20 is deadly, and China's got over 50 of them. Its massive engines allow it to fly faster and further than other fighters in China's fleet. From a long distance is its specialty, and its design allows it to carry more weapons on board, like four medium to long range missiles and two short range missiles. The deadliest thing about the modern ones, such as the J-20 for China, is the fact that it's so new. We have so little information about it. We know it's a good aircraft. We know it's very capable. It's obviously modern, and it does have stealth technology. Air combat is very much like a game of chess. You can't really fight your opponent unless you know their capabilities. What really sets the J-20 apart is how customizable it is. The J-20 can be configured into a bomber version, an electronic warfare version, a carrier-based version, and there are rumors of an unmanned flight and drone control version coming out too. So, how much did all this cost? Research alone was $4.4 billion, and to build each plane separately was around $100 to $120 million. At number two comes the USA's F-22 Raptor. With its stealth, agility, low observability, and situational awareness, the F-22 is designed for air dominance. But it's not just about being sneaky. This fighter can fly at speeds higher than Mach 2.25 and can cruise at supersonic speeds with ease. In reality, if you're operating an aircraft that fast, it will start to heat up the surface of the aircraft, which means even though you've got stealth technology to combat radar, it means people can start identifying you using thermal and infrared systems. In addition to that, 
When you're operating at those speeds, if you then turn, the G-forces would be tremendous. Anything over 9G puts a huge amount of pressure on the body. Your breathing is very difficult, your blood supply to your head starts to be restricted, which can cause you to black out, and it's like very, very physical exercise. The F-22 is capable of close-range dogfighting with 20mm cannons, and its long-range infrared and radar-guided missiles help with beyond-visual-range combat in the air and during ground attacks. But what sets the F-22 apart is its ability to collect and share tactical information with friendly fighters. This allows the US and its allies to coordinate effectively during a battle. Each F-22 costs $143 million, and the US has about 183 of them. Finally, the number one fifth generation fighter jet is the USA's F-35. With low observable stealth features, the F-35 can evade detection and enter enemy airspace. It flies at Mach 1.6, is highly maneuverable, and carries weapons internally in stealth configuration. Its long-range ASA radar scans the skies ahead of it, while the electronic warfare system lets it locate and track enemies, jam radars, and disrupt attacks. One of the things that makes it absolutely superb is the low radar cross-section. If you take something like a four and a half generation fighter, like the Eurofighter Typhoon, you'll see all these bits and pieces on the outside of the aircraft. It's quite a complex structure, and that gives it a quite large radar cross-section. Something like the F-35 has the same radar cross-section as a golf ball. It's incredibly small and incredibly difficult to spot. The closer you can get to your enemy before they can spot you on the radar, the better chance you have of making the first shot, getting the first kill. The F-35 makes the pilot's job a lot easier. It's got a helmet display system that creates an integrated picture of the battlefield. And if that wasn't enough, the DIS feature sends real-time images to the pilot's helmet from six infrared cameras mounted on the aircraft. There are a lot of F-35s in operation, and the US is increasing that number to 2,470 aircraft in the coming years. How much is this expected to cost? $412 billion to develop and build, and $1.3 trillion to operate and maintain after that. Producing fifth-generation jets is costly, and some, like India's HAL AMCR and Russia's Sukhoi Checkmate, are still in the works. But get this, Generation 5 fighters were designed 20 years ago. So many countries are already working on Generation 6. Generation 6 is going to be really interesting. I would expect to start seeing things like directed energy weapons, more commonly known as lasers. If I'm operating a typhoon and I take a shot at an aircraft, it might take maybe one minute for that shot to reach the enemy aircraft. With a directed energy weapon, that takes no time at all as the energy will travel at the speed of light. Another thing will be the potential for going optionally manned. This means some days you may have the pilot in the aircraft, whereas other days you may choose to fly it remotely from the ground, which gives you more flexibility in any kind of high threat environment. The US has two generation six jets underway. One is under the next generation air dominance or NGAD program, and the other is the fax for the Navy. Speculation says these jets will have control over drones and will be able to assign them missions while they engage other targets. Japan's working on the FX and they've teamed up with the UK and Italy to build the Tempest. The Air Force will have the option of flying the Tempest with or without a pilot. It's supposed to have directed energy weapons, electronic warfare jamming, and an AR-VR interactive cockpit that has no physical dials. France, Germany and Spain are working together on a sixth generation jet called the Future Combat Air System. What crazy features would you like to see in sixth generation fighters? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to Explained. Fighter jets have come a long way since their inception. The first generation of jets were simple with basic propulsion, machine guns and unguided rockets. They had no self-protection measures, making them vulnerable in combat. As technology advanced, so did the jets. The second generation introduced swept wings, range-only radar, and infrared missiles. These improvements made the jets more effective in battle. 
the third generation brought supersonic speed, pulse radar, and the ability to shoot at targets beyond visual range. These advancements significantly increased the jet's combat capabilities. Today, we primarily use 4th and 4th.5 generation jets. These jets have good maneuverability, look-down, shoot-down missiles, and reduced signatures. However, they were designed in the 1970s, making them almost outdated. The fifth generation of jets, on the other hand, are the most advanced. They feature stealth technology, speed, agility, better situational awareness for the crews, and advanced weaponry. Designing and developing these jets is incredibly expensive, with only four models currently in operation. As we look to the future, the sixth generation of jets promises even more exciting advancements. Fifth generation fighter jets represent the pinnacle of modern aviation technology. These jets are designed with stealth as a primary feature, making them difficult to detect by conventional radar. The advances in material science, technology and computing have made these jets incredibly fast, agile and capable of providing better situational awareness for the crews. The four models currently in operation are the Russian Su-57 Felon, China's J-20 Mighty Dragon, the USA's F-22 Raptor and the USA's F-35. Each of these jets has unique features that set them apart from previous generations. For example, the F-22 Raptor is known for its air dominance, while the F-35 is famous for its low radar cross-section and advanced helmet display system. Despite their high cost, these jets are essential for maintaining air superiority in modern warfare. As we continue to develop new technologies, the capabilities of these jets will only improve, making them even more formidable in the skies. The Sukhoi Su-57 Felon is Russia's first stealth aircraft and a significant leap forward in their aviation capabilities. This jet is covered with a radio-absorbing coating and made from materials that give it a low infrared signature and low radar visibility. It can cruise continuously at supersonic speeds, reaching Mach 1.7. One of the standout features of the Su-57 is its low-speed maneuverability, which allows it to outmaneuver many of its adversaries. In terms of attack capabilities, the Su-57 is equipped with an advanced infrared search and track feature that can bypass enemy jammers. It can shoot down enemies with close combat 30mm air guns or fire its four K-77M air-to-air missiles and air-to-ground missiles in more intense battles. If the Su-57 comes under attack, its powerful onboard computer can act as an electronic secondary pilot. Additionally, it can blind heat-seeking bogies with a modulated laser beam, making it a formidable opponent in dogfights. Despite its advanced features, the Su-57 has faced issues like engine fires in the past. However, it remains a crucial part of Russia's Air Force and represents their commitment to advancing their aviation technology. China's J-20, often referred to as the Mighty Dragon, is a fifth-generation stealth fighter developed by the Chengdu Aerospace Corporation. This aircraft represents a significant leap in China's military aviation capabilities. The J-20 is designed to compete with the likes of the American F-22 Raptor and the Russian Su-57. It boasts advanced avionics, stealth technology and impressive maneuverability. The inclusion of supercruise capability allows it to maintain supersonic speeds without afterburners. The J-20's development highlights China's growing prowess in defense technology and its ambitions to establish air superiority in the region. As we delve deeper into the specifics, we see that the J-20 features a long fuselage, canard delta wing configuration and twin engines. These design elements contribute to its agility and stealth. The aircraft's radar cross-section is minimized to enhance its survivability in hostile environments. Moreover, the J-20 is equipped with an internal weapons bay, which helps in maintaining its stealth profile while carrying a significant payload. The integration of modern sensors and electronic warfare systems further enhances its combat effectiveness. In summary, the J-20 Mighty Dragon is not just a testament to China's technological advancements, 
but also a strategic asset that could redefine the balance of power in aerial combat. The F-22 Raptor, developed by Lockheed Martin, is considered one of the most advanced fighter jets in the world. It boasts stealth capabilities, super crews, and unparalleled agility. The Raptor's combination of speed, agility, and situational awareness makes it a dominant force in aerial combat. Introduced in the early 2000s, it remains a critical component of the United States Air Force. The F-35 Lightning II, also developed by Lockheed Martin, is a multi-role fighter jet designed for versatility. Unlike the F-22, the F-35 comes in three variants. The conventional takeoff and landing F-35A, the short takeoff and vertical landing F-35B, and the carrier-based F-35C. This jet integrates advanced stealth, sensor fusion, and network-enabled operations, making it a formidable asset for modern air forces around the globe. As we look to the future, the development of sixth-generation fighter jets is already underway. These next-gen aircraft are expected to feature even greater advancements in stealth, autonomy, and artificial intelligence. The goal is to create a platform that can dominate airspace with minimal human intervention, leveraging swarming drones and advanced sensors to outmatch any adversary. The race for air superiority continues, pushing the boundaries of technology and innovation. In conclusion, the evolution of fighter jets from the early days of aviation to the cutting-edge technology of today is nothing short of remarkable. Each generation has brought new capabilities and advancements, ensuring that air forces around the world remain at the forefront of defense and security. As we move forward, the relentless pursuit of innovation will undoubtedly lead to even more groundbreaking developments in aerial warfare. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history and future of fighter jets.